Hey guys, Smitty here with Just Pillin' Barbecue. In this video, I'm going to talk about the Traeger Ranger and the Traeger Tailgater. I've done reviews on both of them on my channel, but I keep getting asked the question, which one is better? Which one do you recommend? But we're going to get to the bottom of it today, so stay tuned. Now one of the things that I'll say right off the bat is I need to tell you that I have modified the Traeger tailgater a little bit from its uh, factory uh, build and by that I mean I've taken off the legs I just really didn't like the legs on it and so I've taken the legs completely off and I made these smaller legs out of uh, plywood and just painted them black and drilled holes where the original holes were and used the same wing nut type deals to bolt them back on and so this is how I use my Traeger tailgater today. I don't use those uh, legs that originally came with them. And I'll talk about that more in a little bit, but I just wanted to cover that a little bit so I don't get questions about that. Um, a lot of questions that I get about both of these grills is how much will it hold? Can I fit this on it? And so I just figured it would be better if I just get the tape measure out and just film a little bit of video taking measurements of the inside, the outside, and all of that stuff. So get your notepads out, get your uh, pen or pencil, and be ready to take some notes because I'm fixing to give you all the dimensions. All right, now to give you some rough uh, measurements of the outside of the Traeger Ranger and the Traeger Tailgater, for you RV guys, for example, you may be wondering if it's gonna fit in your under compartment of your RV or something. So uh, this is gonna be rough estimates of the dimensions of the outside of the Traeger Ranger. That's roughly 20 inches uh, wide by about, I'll go to this side, about 12 and a half inches tall. And then we've got about 16 inches deep. So that's the outside dimensions of the Traeger Ranger. Ranger. Now let's go to the inside. Now this is your hopper. And this area is your cooking surface. So the cooking surface is going to be roughly 11 and 3 quarters of an inch. Really usable cooking space is going to be 11 inches. And then usable cooking space lengthwise is going to be about 15 inches. So 11 by 15 inches. So make note of that. And then the depth of the lid, in case you want to cook something high, is going to be five inches. So you can cook something five inches tall from the grill grate to the top, 11 by 15. So that's the Traeger Ranger dimensions. Now for the Traeger Tailgater 20, I'm not gonna do a height uh, measurement because obviously I have modified it from this, uh, from the original with the legs on it. but from end of the hopper to the other end, including the handles, is going to be about 37 and a half inches from handle to handle. Um, the cooking chamber on the outside, 22 inches. Let's open it up. Use, use, usable uh, cooking area is going to be roughly 19 and a half inches by about 12 and a half inches. And I say usable cooking space because you don't want to get greasy meat over or extending past that drip tray because it's going to drip, uh, you know, grease and stuff like that down there where your fire pot is which could cause a fire and you don't want that. So I'm talking about just over the drip tray. Again, probably yeah, roughly, I'm gonna say 13 and a half inches or so right there from back to front. That's, that's cooking area now. The total from back to front is going to be about 15 and a half inches. So that's the dimensions of 
Traeger tailgater. Now let's get into a little bit more detail. All right, now let's get into the comparisons of both. Uh, hopefully you can hear me over the grills. We've got both of them going, and we've got some burgers in the Ranger. We've got some beer brats on the tailgater. I thought it'd be good to show you guys the grills in action with something on them so that you can kind of gauge uh, what's going to fit on each one of them and that kind of thing. There's positives and negatives to both of them. Let's start with the Ranger on the positives. The positives is it's a compact design. The hoppers on the inside, everything is compact inside a case with latches so that when you're tailgating, you're transporting it from one area to another. You can lock the lid down. It's not going to be bouncing around and everything when you're transporting it. And it's just a more compact design if you've got to fit it in your trunk or uh, in an RV, for example. This is going to be more for you. Um, I like the compact design of it. And uh, I mean, it's really handy. I've used this thing for SCA uh, state competitions. It gets up really hot with a couple of uh, grill grates sliding inside of it. Gets plenty of hot to, to do state competitions, sear states, and that kind of thing. We can go low and slow. Today I've got four half pound burgers on there that I'm smoking those. And, uh, and I mean, it do, does just fine. I love it. You don't have to worry about any legs folding out and folding them back up after a tailgate event or camping or anything like that. Pick it back up, put it back in your trunk, put it in your truck, put it back in your RV, and you're ready to go. So it's a sleek, compact design, and that's what I like about it. Negatives about the Ranger. And it's not really a negative, it's just the fact of the matter it is what it is. This is not a full-size grill, obviously. A lot of people want to complain about the Ranger because of the size of the cooking area, but you should have already known that before you purchased it. It is a compact uh, tailgater type camping uh, mobile grill. You're going to take from one area to another, camping, tailgating, that kind of thing. So it's a small package. You should already know that from the beginning, but there is a limit to what you can put on this Traeger Ranger. And that's really about the only downfall, in my opinion, that it has. It cooks great, it holds temperature great. I've never had a single issue with it. So um, that's really the only negative that I have found so far is it's limited on what you can cook on. Now let's go to the Traeger tailgater. Now the Traeger tailgater, positives. Again, for a a decent sized grill, it's still a compact grill. Um, very mobile, you can take it, you know, wherever you want to take it to, tailgate, camping, that kind of thing. We've taken it, I can't tell you how many times, to Bristol, Tennessee, to the race up there. By the way, that's going to be tonight, the uh, night race. That's why we're cooking these type foods, because we're getting ready for the night race tonight. But this grill right here has been to Bristol multiple times couple of times in very inclement weather um, and it's done fantastic hadn't let us down a single time uh, the only thing that I will say that I don't like about the tailgater is the legs the legs are terrible for one person to try to fold back up and get them to stay or to unfold them for that matter which is why I removed them totally. Now, you might say, well, how are you gonna remove this thing around uh, if you wanna move it around your backyard or whatever? Well, I have a cart uh, that I got on Amazon. And by the way, anything that I use on my channel, including this cart, is going to be in my Amazon, Amazon affiliate store. There's gonna be a link in the description box below. Click on that. It's got the cart in it. It's got rubs, it's got sauces, camping gear, grilling accessories, all that stuff is going to be in there, so check that out. But I use that car. I can put the tailgater on that car. I can put the Traeger Ranger on that car. I put a couple of concrete pavers underneath it and then set them right on top, and it's perfect for that. So I can move it anywhere in the backyard that I want to, um, and it's no big deal. I like that design better than having the legs. Also with the legs, with the tailgater, it's very low to the ground uh, versus when it's on the cart, it 
picks it up a little bit, kind of like the way it's on the table right now. And it's more of a regular height as far as a full-size grill goes. So um, the only other negative that I will say about the Traeger Tailgater is the way it vents. And I'll show you that now. Now the Traeger Tailgater vents with these two holes, there's not a smokestack. The problem with this is it in you know rainy weather, inclement weather, there's nothing blocking rain from going straight down in there. That's the only downfall that I think this design has. You know, it's not louvered or anything, it's just an open hole. And when it's a raining type situation, you never know when you're going tailgating or camping what the weather's gonna be. It could change from five minutes to the next. Rain going down in there. So in my opinion, that's not really a very good design versus the Traeger Ranger. Now the Ranger on the other hand has two slots in the top that are uncovered, but this top kind of curls over the top of it. And then the other two slots, plus these three down here, all have louvers on them to protect it from moisture. I think that's a lot better design, especially for a tailgating type grill. All right, lastly, we'll talk about a couple more things. Hopper capacity. Believe it or not, the Traeger Ranger holds just as many pellets as the Traeger Tailgater. I believe it's eight pounds of pellets. It doesn't look like it, but it holds eight pounds of pellets. So that's a good feature for the Ranger. Um, and lastly, I'm gonna just open up the lids and show you what we've got on each of them, just so you can see how much space you have in each cooking area. Now keep in mind, the burgers that I have on here, for example, there's only four. I could fit more on there, so I have them spaced out pretty well. Same thing for the beer brats on here. Uh, I could put more beer brats on there, but because I had the space, I spaced them out a little bit, so keep that in mind. Let me show you what we got on both of these. All right, on the Ranger, we've got four half pound burgers and we just got them smoking on there. And again, keep in mind, they're very spaced out. You could probably put at least six on there, maybe seven on there. Uh, so plenty enough space for that, or you could put a couple of pieces of bacon on there as well. But plenty enough space for what you wanna do for a tailgating type event, as long as you're not cooking for a large crowd. Then on the tailgater, we've got beer brats over there. We've got the sweet Johnsonville brats. And we've got peppers, onions, uh, pickled peppers, and a little bit of beer in there getting nice and uh, hot. Keep in mind also that those beer brats, they're spaced out a little bit. You can fit more beer brats on there. And that is a half size pan uh, that we have on there as well. So let's get that closed back up. So what are my final thoughts? Which one do I recommend over the other one? I like both of them. I've had both of them for a couple years now. So these are not brand new grills. Both of these uh, grills have cooked a lot of meals uh, on their own rights. We've eaten a lot of meals off of both of them. We love both of them. Um, but if I had to pick one, I would probably go with the Traeger Ranger. For the category that it falls under, which is a tailgater uh, camping type grill. Um, you can cook full meals on this uh, Traeger tailgater if you want to. The Ranger on the other hand is probably not going to be that kind of grill for you, but for a tailgating type atmosphere, this is the one. You can put it on your tailgate literally. You can put it on a table just like this um, and take it anywhere you want to go. The only limitation is the cooking space that you have to work with. So you're probably going to have to do something in batches, for example. Whereas the Traeger tailgater is going to hold a little bit more. Um, the other thing that I like about the Rangers is it's a little bit easier to clean because everything is smaller. It's more compact, so it's easier to clean than the Traeger tailgater. This one, although I have used multiple times NASCAR races, for example, tailgating, camping, that kind of stuff, and it's done great. I just chose to take the legs off so I don't have to fight with those anymore. Um, other than that, I recommend both of them, but if I had to pick one, it would probably be the Traeger Ranger. If you found this video valuable, please hit that thumbs up, 
try to subscribe to the channel if you will and hit that bell notification so that you're notified every time we come out with a new video. Visit us on Patreon, Instagram, Facebook, check out all of our social media and keep piddling. Thank you.